Well, that's just great. I released all that warmer and it's trapped with nowhere to go. Well, sorry for the rant there at the start of this video, but yes, I am literally being a bit too ambitious at doing flip flap toy reviews, eh? But the good news is, I'm now back at making flip flap videos. Actually, uh, there are basically two things, which is actually quite good. First, I'm now glad I'm ready to basically review some more flip flap toys. And second, I'm also glad that I'm actually usually, uh, you know, in my videos, I tend to use, you know, I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't actually tend to you know, curse in a very official way. I don't tend to curse in a very official way in my videos, of, of course, I suppose, but second, there actually is going to be little or no signs of profanity, so yeah, that's a thumbs up. But anyways, I think the first product we might be taking a look at in this video, and I think all of these are actually going to be involved in swallows, and swallows are like a bird species, I suppose. It's like a, a small little songbird that's like it's Migratory, perhaps they've got fork tail, you know, right over them. I suppose it's like they've got a pair of, you know, what would you say, a fork tail appendage, perhaps. Well, yes, I've actually got two products here. There's a five pack and there's a twelve pack, of course. Going to the day. But yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look at the five pack first. Yes, this five pack. Oh, look at that! I mean, look at the details of this um, swallow there. It looks like um, Taylor from the Pokemon franchise, if you think about it. But it looks a bit. Eight pounds ninety-seven is the real price, and boy, boy, doesn't look quite amazing indeed. Fold for the future. I don't see the um, the slogan there. It's strange that usually in you know in flip up toys they always show fold for the future, which is basically the. Um, the motto or the slogan for Flip Flap Toys, basically origami ones of course. There's the instructions there on how to flap these birds. Both of these are British Wildlife Collection toys and they've got this very peculiar Ash Ketchum logo there and uh, it's a bit like uh, it's from Pokemon and the reason why I've made these logos is because it's so freezing in the UK. Eh? And yes, the reason why I actually filmed it in the beginning because it's not yet really is the start for people starting to wear fully t-shirts indeed and also, that's also not yet the time for people just to wear less clothes. They are still going to wear more and more of these long sleeves, right? And I think that's very interesting to say that there will be less people wearing t-shirts, I guess. Well, sorry about that. I was actually meant to say to be seen or to be visible while wearing short sleeved clothes then let's just say long sleeved clothes I'm just being a bit hypocritical by about this <laughs> I don't know why but I'm just gonna come in and do the unpacking about this beautiful looking packaging and uh, it's quite interesting that the barn swallows in the, in the toy version of these um, they actually look a lot like the Pokemon Taylo because they've got the yellow beaks instead of the usual realistic grey or black beaks that you'd find on realistic swallows but I think this version here is the most common one because I think because of my obsessions with Pokemon in the past oh there's a bit of fluff there because of my well just say obsessions and also my very interesting um, joy and passion to the Pokemon franchise when I was like 15 years old or 16 years old uh, I actually started to know all sorts of different Pokemon actually I was like 15 years old I was like 15 years old when I actually saw Pokemon Go for the first time back in summer, actually July of 2016, that was the release date. Pretty amazing, they've got the name Barn Swallow, if you look closer here, let me have a close look at that one there, there it is there. It says Barn Swallow on the booty there, I don't know why if booty is supposed to be good or bad for a name. In fact all of these have got the name Barn Swallow on their booties. This one there's got a bit of a smaller eye there. Or should I say membrane? Uh, it looks pretty beautiful. I love the um, the red supercilian. Very beautiful indeed. And uh, I love the fact it almost looks like a robin red breast, but it looks a bit. Uh, it's just sort of amazing. I've got these sort of wing beaks there. Yeah, okay, so it's got the very cartoonic sort of bird beak there. And uh, let's try the other one here as well, because I'm sort of curious. Yeah, that one looks sort of amazing. They've got bigger wing beats and it's sort of interesting they've got deep line equipped wing beats but well, you know what this is actually quite amazing having these sort of birds eh and the nice thing about these birds and to have that make it look like a swallow I gave it to look like and you know it's 
you know, it's got fork towers there. I don't know what I'm saying, but the fork towers it gives it a lot more character, so that's why it looks more like a swallow. If it wasn't a swallow, then it would have been more like a bluebird. If I'm actually being a bit hypocritical, I suppose. But maybe you guys are thinking I'm just a bit skeptical here. Let's try and flap the other one here. Yeah, looks pretty nice. I love the deep wing beats there. And um, yeah, makes those clicking. It sounds like a horse when you actually flap it. Actually, sounds like a horse hoof just galloping, perhaps trotting. Um, but oh my goodness me, the thing that really deteriorates about these birds is because they're made out of, of paper and also they have crowns that actually invade it. Look at the amount of crowns that are actually attracted. It's a bit like a magnet of crowns everywhere. Oh my goodness me, can you believe it? It's like the crown is like it's it's like it's attracted to the piece of paper. The paper is like it's. It's like an insulator. I'm not sure if I'm being a bit scientific correctly, of course. But the um the crayon debris there almost looks like it's a bit like it's a bit like magnets. It's like little barnacles or magnets or something. I just cannot believe it. But there's the red breast like you'd find on the robin there. But this is the um the barn swallow. Very cute looking anime style eyes. I love how bulging it is. Yeah, don't mind it at all. Very nice indeed. And what I should be a lot more prudent in my videos is basically pack these birds away into the packaging there. And yes, we're actually going to take a look at possibly a lot more expensive, the 12 pack. So I'm sort of thinking, is this like a reintroduction of some swallows or is this just basically the first time looking at it, eh? And I'm um, taking a, basically a look at this one here. This is a, um, a barn swallow flock 12 pack. £15.99 almost said £16, but that's actually 1p away from £16. And what you can see there is just a bit of silhouette action of barn swallows, and there's just a single swallow. It looks like it's just a close up view of a swallow. Or is it just a regular view of a swallow? Looking at the back of the packaging there, I just love the artwork, eh? It sort of looks anime style, it looks like Tylo from the Pokemon franchise or Swallow. And um, there's actually something a bit weird and perplexing here. It looks like that the um, the artwork there almost looks like that the um, the packaging looks more very weird. It looks like it's got a very unbalanced feel because it almost looks like that the um, the packaging has actually got a bit of a, a hole there. But that's actually not really the truth. It sort of looks like it's damaged or deteriorated. Maybe it was um, not detailed correctly. Perhaps I don't know. Uh, but nevertheless, it is part of the British Wildlife Collection toy range, uh, as swallows are. Uh, but they're just partial migrants. I, I know they're native, but they are a cosmopolitan species, meaning they occur worldwide. So I'm just going to come in and do the unpacking here. And what I'm saying, cosmopolitan, is basically they are native worldwide. And epidemic, maybe they're not really epidemic, I suppose. But anyways, let's take a look at the, um, the swallows. Once again, it's got the cool looking fork tail looking um, feature of a swallow there. Now, if you look closely, the uh, the fork tail of the swallows there, it looks like they're in different lengths. One is shorter, the other one is longer, but that depends on the way manufacturers make these sort of toys. Uh, actually, I'm the manufacturer. Once again, it's got the very beautiful animated um, flapping bird doodah wing action there, eh? but that's always... You know, that's always the norm with these like toys. It's, it's such a good norm here. Yeah? Sometimes there's colours in voting there, which I don't really mind, eh? Uh, but nevertheless, it is the sort of bird I actually think it's sort of beautiful, eh? I suppose it looks, it's got a very beautiful flapping wing action here. Let's do the other one there. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing, eh? And um, I sort of think, um, yeah, it's also quite amazing. One thing I also know about swallows is that they're also like the symbol of spring, so they're like spring and summertime migrants to the UK of course, and they leave during autumn they're absent at winter, but they only occur when, I think um, the earliest time when swallows occur is February, thanks to the warm hot February that we had, where it was actually warm, not hot because I live in the UK, very beautiful looking um, swallow of course and um, I'm sort of thinking, you know what, is that looking beautiful I suppose, to be honest uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks like one of the wings is quite hard, I suppose, eh? Maybe it's a bit out of place. Let's see if this one works. Um, yeah, it does. It's got the clicking action, eh? Uh, sometimes when the wings have been deteriorated while playing, of course, there's a cut-up 
It looks like when, it's, when there was a, a, some sort of weird ripping going on here. I cut these out just to make it a lot more safer to play. And also to protect the toys from being deteriorated. This one's got a much sort of, um, looks more like a seagull wing beat, I suppose. It looks like a seagull wing beat. The disappointing fact is, is that when you pull these, um, when you pull the fork tail like that, uh, sometimes the glue is not that great, but it depends on the quality, of course. Sometimes the fork tail can actually just fall apart in your hands. It's a bit like a, a counterfeit knockoff toy. When you just, it's a bit like those dark side toys, but these one, you know, these sort of toys, they just don't really fall apart in my hands. Oh, this one's just got a bit of a, a one winger, if that's a word. <laughs> and I'm just going to fix this one here and make it flat like the other ones like that. Very simple. And I'm actually sort of glad they've got the bulging anime star eyes. That's because they're based on the Pokemon Taylor. And I'll show you what Pokemon uh, Taylor really is in... Um, and I'll show you what it looks like, Taylor. I'm very curious because I'm pretty sure you guys... Uh, you might have discovered the Azumarill Toy View. I think it was the, the Toy View which had the slug on it. And I'm sort of curious about these sort of birds. Uh, the swallows, eh? They're actually sort of becoming common thanks to the spring weather that we had. Anyways, let's just go ahead and take a look at what Taylor looks like, I think. And just as I'm making this video here, I'll show you what Taylor looks like. And to be quite prudent here, I'll show you where Taylor is by showing you what's in this content here. Oh, look at that, there's the evolution there. That's actually um, a swallow, the um, swallow Pokemon there. I do a bit of focus there. And my camera is a bit shaky there, and I do apologise for the way my camera... Oh, there's Taylor. Uh, that one there. I think it's that one there. The tiny swallow Pokemon. I think that's why it's called the tiny swallow Pokemon. Yep, being the tiny swallow Pokemon really is quite amazing indeed, yet simplistic at the same time. Which, to me, doesn't sound like a real mundane creepypasta. Created by some sort of weird madman, I would never think that this would actually be... So, so redundant. But man, do I actually think Pokemon's popular? You know what? The stupidest question after all, it is basically a yes indeed. You know what? I actually feel like I'm actually feeling, start to feel a bit confused on the way I tend to say in my videos, but nevertheless, I'm starting to feel like I'm an expert. Don't know why I'm showing the thumbs up so much times though, but I'm actually just going to repack all the swallows there and just migrate into the packaging there and basically make an ending. From now on, well, I'm actually just gonna pack these swallows here. I don't know how many I should probably pack these away. Might do jump cut because there might be a um, an intruder coming out from somewhere in the bedroom now, right? and I think it's getting very late because we're coming up towards midnight. And um, yes, it's sort of amazing. We're actually glad that we're back in the land form of birds. I think there's too many sea birds being released here. I suppose there's actually too much. Eh? Okay, so there's so many um. Seabirds, I think it's been like too much. So I sort of feel like, what can we do to, um, I don't know, probably fix this problem? I have basically no idea. It's the way I tend to work with YouTube, I suppose. But, I um, mean, oh god, I think it's these, um, I think it's the towers that makes them caught up. It's a bit like these turns, but it's a bit like the turns, uh, but they're not really that, um, papery. If that's a word, they're not really that papery compared to the turns, which are very swallow-like. I'm sort of glad I've just made the swallows. Maybe I could make house martins in the future, if I have some very, sort of, very nice time, I suppose. And I think this is actually going to be quite a tough read to... Look at that, the packaging almost looks like it's starting to rip there. Sorry about that. Uh, I might have to do a jump cut. Yep, I think I've got it into the end. Maybe I'm sort of thinking it's a bit like, you know, it's almost like playing the Transformers toys. Uh, things start to probably get a lot more frustrating when you start to transform from robot into vehicle. It's, there you go. I think I've done it already. Oh, did I, oh look at that, how sloppy the beak was, isn't it? I don't know if you can push the beaks just a little bit forward. I think I could push a bit backwards, eh? I think that's probably about it, though, hey? Eh? What do you think? Oh no, I've just... <laughs> I've just broken the packaging there, look at that, there's a hole here. Sorry about that, that wasn't supposed to be like that, but anyways... I hope that's probably about it, though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry about the complaint about the beginning of the weather here. 
just right now in this video. But anyways, there'll be more Swallow Toys ready to be reviewed for the near future. And I'm very sorry for the packaging has been upside down. Anyways, thanks for watching and bye for now.